Hi everybody, in this short lesson we will look at what limits are. Then we will use the definition of limits to introduce differentiation. Differentiation is really an essential tool required in an AP Physics C classroom. As a matter of fact, AP Physics C stands for Introductory Physics with Calculus. Therefore, it is essential for you to know how to use this tool because it will help you to succeed in this class. If I am taking time to do this now, at the beginning of the semester, it means that it is foundational and therefore you should pay attention. But we cannot define differentiation without first understanding what really a limit is. But the definition that I'm going to give you is just a working definition. Uh, if this was in a math class, we're going to go a little bit deeper into the topic. But what I'm going to do here is just the basis to help you understand what really a limit is all about. Um, let's say we have a function f of x. This is x. could be any function and uh, we have a point here the value at this point is L and the value of X at this point is C one thing I must make clear is as as x approaches c from the right and from the left so if if f of x approaches l as x approaches c from the right and as x approaches c from the left remember when it's approaching c from the left we put a minus when it's approaching c from the right we put a minus if 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 the if f of x approaches l as x approaches c from the right and from the left then we can say that the limit of f of x as x approaches c is going to be equal to l in other words the function f of x is continuous at this point l it is important you understand that this is a working definition of what really a limit is for example, if the function f of x is equal to x squared plus 1, then the limit of f of x as x approaches negative 1 is equal to the limit of x squared plus 1 as x approaches negative 1. This is negative 1 all squared plus 1 and this will give us 2 and this will be equal to 2 another example would be the limit of x cubed plus 2x all divided by x squared or well let me use let me use here x to the 4 x cubed plus 3x squared all divided by x squared let's calculate the limit as x approaches 0 of this particular function if we simplify this is going to be equal to the limit 
as x approaches 0 of x squared plus 2x plus 3 which means which be, will be equal to 0 squared plus 2 multiplied by 0 plus 3 and our answer is equal to 3 let's look at another example again let's look for the limit of 3x squared plus x plus 2 divided by 2x squared plus 3x plus 1 as x approaches infinity this is a very this is a beautiful problem now in order to evaluate this function it may look a little complicated but really it it is not when you're given a problem like this my recommendation for you is to divide both the numerator and the denominator by the highest power of x for example um, we will divide both the numerator and the denominator by x squared that means that this function becomes the limit of 3 plus 1 over x plus 2 over x squared divided by 2 plus 3 over x plus 1 over x squared as x approaches infinity now the question may be in your mind why have i decided to do so the reason is because as x approaches infinity 1 over x and 1 over x raised to the power n approaches 0. And this is really critical. This would mean this would mean that this right here is equal to 0. This right here is equal to 0. This equal to 0 and that is equal to 0. And if we simplify, this becomes equal to 3 over 2. And that will be our answer. Let's do another example again. Let's look for the limit of x squared plus 25 divided by x minus 25 as x approaches 5. This is a good one. What do you notice? You notice right away that if x is equal to 5 then the function f of x becomes undefined because the denominator will be equal to 0 it is also important for you to remember that a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b a plus b that means that we can express sorry this is minus that means that we can express x squared minus 25 to be equal to x squared minus 5 squared which is equal to x minus 5 x plus 5 so that being said this therefore would mean that the limit as x approaches 5 of x squared minus 25 divided by x minus 5 is equal to the limit as x approaches 5 of x minus 5 x plus 5 divided by x minus 5 this cancels with this and we are left with the limit as x approaches 5 of x plus 5 now this would mean that the limit as x approaches 5 of x plus 5 will be equal to 10 will be equal to 10 
Now, this gives us a brief introduction of limits. In the next lesson, we will look at differentiation.